In this video, we're going to tell you the difference between a male and female Doberman. Dobermans are super cool looking, plus they're loving, loyal, and they're incredibly smart. But what's the difference between a male Doberman Pinscher and a female? We'll answer those questions as we look at their temperament, size, trainability, and everything you need to know if you're looking at a Doberman and whether or not you should get a male or female. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to know to make your decision on a male Doberman or a female Doberman. So let's get started with their temperaments. First, we look at temperaments, and when we look at temperaments for a male and female Doberman, we start with the male. If you're looking for a more playful, social dog that likes to be out and about in the action, then that's going to be more of a male. If you're looking for a dog that's easily housebroken, very smart, likes to be by your side, and a little bit more gentle, that would be the female. In general, males are alert, loyal, loving, and protective. They definitely mature slower than females, usually around age four, whereas the female is going to mature at around age two. The male is a little bit harder to train, the female easier to train. The male is more suspicious, more on alert, looking around a little bit more than the female, where the female is more open and loving to strangers, especially family members, so it's great to have a female around if you have kids. So in general, the male is going to be a little more stubborn, messier, and hyper during those puppy years, whereas the female less stubborn, a little cleaner, less hyper, more in control, and a dog that's especially going to be better for you if you have a family, but the male is great as well. Next we'll compare the size between a male Doberman and a female Doberman. The size difference in these two dogs isn't that much, but it's worth noting since this is already a big strong dog. First for the male, they can be anywhere from 26 to 28 inches tall and can weigh anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds. Their lifespan is anywhere from 10 to 14 years. As for the female, they're a little shorter at 24 to 26 inches and they'll weigh less at 60 to 90 pounds. Their lifespan's still the same at 10 to 14 years, but they are gonna be a little slimmer and less muscle mass than the male, where the male's just gonna be a little bit bulkier and have more muscle. So if you want a big dog, the Doberman's definitely the one for you. But if you want that extra girth and strength, the male will be the one that you want. Next, we'll compare trainability between the male Doberman and the female Doberman. Males are considered more playful, more free, not as focused as the female. So a male may be harder to train early on because they get distracted easy and they're just not able to hang around quite like the female where the female is more described as intense, serious, focused, alert. They mature quicker than the male, so your dog's gonna be in that mature state, well-trained state at around two years old versus the male that's gonna be there at four years old. So that's a big difference. And then when you talk about walking off leash, that's another example where the male is not gonna stick by your side. They're curious, they're looking around, they wanna see different things. Where a female is gonna be by your side, looking to you for direction and really focused on pleasing you, the owner. And that's why females are really popular and a great choice when looking at a Doberman. Next, we'll look at exercise requirements between the male Doberman and the female Doberman. This is a big dog, likes to be outside and likes to be with their owner. So when you talk about the male, the male needs about an hour of day of exercise. This doesn't have to be intense exercise, but they definitely want to be out going for a walk. This is not a dog that's going to be okay just sitting inside day after day. They need to be outside and need to exercise and exercise their brains as well. As for the female, they're all about exercise and they especially want to be with their owner. So it won't be enough to just let your female Doberman out in the backyard. They want to play catch. They want to go for walks. They want to go for hikes. They want to be with you and they want to please you. So they want to build that bond that comes from exercising. So if you get a male, they're more open to be free and running where a female wants to be by your side, building that bond through exercise. So they too need about an hour a day. And finally, we'll look at lifespan between the male Doberman and female Doberman. The lifespan of these two dogs is anywhere from 10 to 14 years. Yes, they're a bigger dog, but they don't have very many health issues like some other big dogs. So if you give them good food and take them out for walks, 
keep them active and exercise both their bodies and minds, because remember they're very smart as well, then these dogs will live into 10, 11, 12, 13 years and be great dogs for you and your family. So overall, whether you get a male or female, it comes back to the basics of owning a dog. They need to be socialized, exercised, fed good food, and you will have an outstanding dog. Dobermans are great dogs whether you get a male or female. We hope you've enjoyed this video about the Doberman Pinscher and we'll see you on the next one.